have more respect for a person that says that they're wicked more than I have respect for a person who is wicked and pretends that they're good because they're living in their truth. The wicked person who lets you know they're wicked, at least they're living in their truth. They're not a hypocrite to who they are. We know that God made light and he made darkness. God made good and God made evil. So that's why a hypocrite shall not stand before God. At least if someone, you know somebody's wicked, you know what to expect. They're living in their authentic truth of who they are. They're not pretending to be something that they're not. When Mary Magdalene was a whorelet, she didn't say to Christ she wasn't a whorelet. You understand what I'm saying? You can forgive who you truly are. You can't forgive who you pretend to be. Like, even when the woman who came before Christ and she was an adulterer, and she was caught in the act of adultery, he said to her, sin no more. I, your sins are forgiven. She was authentically living in her truth she was in sin she didn't hide that she was in sin she didn't say i'm a good woman i i'm no adulterer do you understand i have more respect for people who are wicked who admit and they are wicked than people who pretend like they're good and they're actually wicked that's why hypocrites will go in the lake of fire and hypocrites can't come near God. God made good and God made evil. But are you a hypocrite? The hypocrite is a problem. Yes, God hates wickedness. But these people are speaking the truth. The truth will set you free. God can deliver the wicked from their wickedness if they turn away from their sins. People who are being themselves and their truth. This generation is a whole bunch of pretense. A, a lot of pretense a lot of that that's just like a lot of them running in the Rahab spirit pretending to be good but they're actually wicked and doing deceitful things and you would see how the Rahab spirit is more wicked and dangerous than the Jezebel spirit is even like a Delilah because it conspires against thee like you know how Delilah was doing evil against Samson but she was pretending like she's good. That's these people who are hypocrites. They're wicked, but they're pretending like they're good. They're pretending like they're your friend. Just like family members who are wicked and play the hypocrite. They hate you. Remember, a man's enemies are they of their own household. There's family members who hate you, but they pretend like they like you. They're Delilah in you all day. You understand? They're not going to come right out. They're pretending that they love you in your face. But in behind your back, they're secretly hurting you. That is why hypocrites will have their part in the lake of fire. And they'll perish. Job 8 and 13. So are the paths of all that forget God. And the hypocrites hope shall perish. Now, hypocrites can't come near God. Job 13 and 16. He also shall be my salvation, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. A hypocrite can't come before God. And you know why, you know, these people who pretend like they're good, but they're actually wicked. They hate when you expose them. They hate, they, they operate like Satan, because Satan, when he deceived Eve, he was pretending like he was good, but he was wicked, and he was put to shame. When you shed light on these people's hypocrisy, those who pretend like they're good but they're wicked, they become shamed and humiliated. But guess what? A person who is wicked and says that they're wicked, you cannot shame that person because they're living in their truth. It's a person who pretends like they're good but they're actually wicked. They're not living in their truth. So when you expose their wickedness and who they really are, and you tear down their illusion of their false pretense of who they are, they're ashamed, they're humiliated, but you can't humiliate somebody who is wicked and says they're wicked. They know they're wicked. What else are you going to say? You're just going to be like, okay, oh well, all right, you're wicked. I know to stay away from you. It's the people 
who are hypocrites. They hate when people shed light on their hypocrisy and their wickedness. Well, God hates their hypocrisy. Because if you're wicked, say you're wicked. God is the God of truth. A hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. For what is the hope of a hypocrite, though he gain, when God shall take away his soul? Because hypocrites go in the lake of fire. Job 20 and 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Up now, people would not upright men. Upright men shall be astonished at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. But in these days, what does God say? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For every one is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away. But his hand is stretched out still. And you see Jezebel. Jezebel wasn't a hypocrite. She said by this day tomorrow I'm going to kill the prophets and the seers. And she wanted to kill them and she told them. She was no hypocrite to what she did. She was wicked and she let them know she was wicked. But the, 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 the Rahab spirit that's operating in these last days. It's most vicious because it's wicked and it pretends like it's good. That's why it's more worse than the Jezebel spirit. Jezebel was open and bold that she was ruthless and she was a murderer. The Rahab spirit is a deceiver, a secret murderer, operating in secret works of darkness. Like the part where Delilah operated in secret against Samson's secret murderer, pretending like she's good this is why that spirit is so dangerous working in so much people this day, in these days because they're pretending to be something that they're not they're not living in their authentic self me i strive on my originality yeah you should be yourself nobody you're not supposed to try to fit in you're supposed to stand out you're not supposed to be a follower. You're supposed to be a leader. You're only supposed to follow Christ. The example that he set out for you to reach salvation. But following another man, following another woman, God told you, trust no man. Trust no man. He even told you that your enemies are they of your own household. So you have to discern with people's words you have to understand when people say something, you, you better get the knowledge, wisdom and understanding and see if that's knowledgeable, if that's even wise and what the outcome is because every cause has an effect and an outcome. You see, the book of Proverbs is cause and effect. We'll just go to pull up book of Proverbs quickly. Cause and effect. You do this, this will happen. Cause and effect. Because everything has a cause and effect. You so good, good will come to you. You so evil, evil will come to you. Let's just start at 17. I'll, do, I'll go into chapter 17. Just to show you cause and the effect. Everything has a cause and everything has effect. It says, better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifice with strife. So people who... Who offer evil sacrifices, their house is full of strife. A wise servant shall have rule over his son that causes shame, and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. Now, let's go to this. A wicked doer gives heed to false lips, and a liar gives ear to a naughty tongue. So people who are liars, they listen to people who talk naughty. And wicked doers, they listen and believe people who lie. Who have false lips. Now whosoever mocketh the poor. Reproaches his maker. And he that is glad at calamities. Shall not be unpunished. So if you mock the poor. You reproach God. And if you're glad at someone's calamity. You're not going to be unpunished for that. So people who wait on people's downfalls. And are happy when calamities take. 
take place on others, they're not going to be unpunished. Now, excellent speech becomes not a fool, much less do lion lips a prince. Now, he that covers a transgression seeks love, but he that repeats a matter separates very friends. So God even tells you how when people are cheating on you. He that covers a transgression seeks love. So when they're trying to hide it and they're trying to lie about it, when they cheat on you, they're seeking other love. But he that repeats a matter, who does this stuff again, separates very friends. Now, reproof enters more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. So, foolish people, you could beat them with a hundred stripes. Wisdom ain't still going in on to them. An evil man seeks only rebellion. So, you know evil men seek only rebellion. He tells you the cause and the effect. An evil man will only seek rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Sent against him. That's the effect. This is the cause and the effect. The punishment that goes with it. What's going to happen to an evil man see that seeks only rebellion? Rebellion. A cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Now, whosoever rewards evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. So this is the cause they're rewarding evil for good. Evil's not going to depart from their house. Every cause has an effect. He that justifies the wicked and he that condemns the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A, a man void of understanding strikes hands and becomes surety in the presence of his friends. He that loves transgression to transgress loves strife. And he that exalts his gate seeks destruction. So do you understand everything has a cause and an effect? Everything has a cause and effect. You know wisdom is before him that has understanding. But the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for equity. You should you will learn a lot in the book of Proverbs. Cause it's one set over the other. Cause and the effect and the outcome. So I hope this video opened up your understanding. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God. I love you a lot. And um, I'm thankful for all the people who watch me globally all over the world it's it's amazing and i'm happy that i could reach out to you i'm talking all continents <laughs> watch me and i'm thankful if i start naming out the countries the islands the places it's too many but i just want to say i appreciate you all from all the places in the world that you watch me and and, and my channel stay blessed